Hey you guys, welcome back to my table three. My name is Carrie. Super glad to have you here today. I've had a lot of you guys request meal prep and freezer meals like I used to do here on the channel. And I thought, hey, I still need to do my own meal prep and freezer meals, so why not fill those and share those with you? Today, I'm gonna do the first of many that I'm gonna be sharing. It is an easy crock pot freezer meal. And since it's Croctober, what better time to share it, right? So I'm just gathering a few things left that I need for the recipe here out of the fridge and then we're gonna get started so i'm gonna show you today a simple way you don't have to have all day to meal prep or do freezer meals guys you can do one for dinner one for the freezer that way you can do it all at the same time you don't have to spend hours and hours doing it and you'll be glad you have that freezer meal later on on a busy night so let's jump over in the kitchen here and get started making that sausage and pepper uh in the crock pot let's get to all it right. it is about 8 04 in the morning and I need to get our lunch started in a crock pot. So I'm gonna show you how I do that with these ingredients. Plus I am gonna show you how to um, put these ingredients in a freezer bag for a easy crock pot freezer meal. So let's jump right in. I'll show you what we're using. So you'll need enough bratwurst or Italian sausage to feed your family for two meals if you're gonna do the freezer meal. Um, I got three, so I do about two a piece for each meal that way Somebody can eat both of them at one time, or they can save one for later in the day or the next day. So I got these at Aldi's. Um, these were $4.29 a pack. So yes, they have definitely went up. I used to could get a box of this many for $6.39, but they, I, they haven't had that box in a while and these have went up. So you'll need your sausage. <clears throat> You'll need a bell pepper, two bell peppers, and one a large onion. I don't have large onions. These bags, this bag, these that come in that bag I bought at Aldi, they are both small. So I'm going to do one each. And then I have a red onion that's partially um, used. So I'm going to divide that between both. So two large bell peppers, one large onion for each. So for your meal today, for your freezer meal, then you'll need some seasoning. You can use Italian seasoning. You can use garlic, onion powder. I'm going to use this Tuscan farmhouse blend. It does have a little bit of salt in it. It has Italian seasoning, red pepper flakes. It's really good, so I'm gonna use that. If I can remember, I'll try and link this on Amazon because that's where I got it. <clears throat> Maybe a bit of salt. And then if you want yours to be like with marinara, you can use that. This is some of my home canned spaghetti sauce. Um, I actually filmed this on the channel using my four jar lids. I'll put a card somewhere up here at the top to link to that if you want to see how I did that. But I also am rotating through my pantry and I have one of these that need to be used. So I'm going to use this one today. I'm going to use a smaller jar for my freezer meal because I don't know if I'm going to want to use this at the same way I'm using it today or if we'd want to eat it on sandwiches or something like that. So I'm just going to use this smaller jar of marinara. So yep, I'm going to get to chopping. I'm also going to brown these up. You don't have to, but I like the way they look when you brown them up. Do not cook them, just brown them on all sides really quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that and chop up all these veggies so you guys don't have to stay here with me. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how to assemble it in the crock pot and how to get it ready for the freezer. So be back shortly. Okay, I have everything ready, guys. I have, I went ahead and cut up a bowl of, it said, remember it's two bell peppers, one large onion, and for each, one for your freezer meal, one for your crock pot. I just brown these. You can see they're not done. You can totally skip this uh, step if you want to just put them in there without browning them. I, you know, it doesn't cook them. It's not going to make them cook any faster in the slow cooker. I just like the color on them. So let's build our slow cooker meal first. I'm going to put six in here because we are feeding three of us. So that'll be two each. What is that? five six all right then we are going to put our onions and peppers over the top of that and you can cut it doesn't have to be cut up like i'm doing them you can cut up however you'd like to and i am going to actually oops i'm making a mess let's see if i can get that Okay, we got this much to go. So I think I'm gonna put some of the green pepper in there. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in some of my Italian seasoning, I think, um, and then layer the rest. Probably about a teaspoon right there. 
maybe a half a teaspoon, and then the rest of our onions and peppers. Remember, these will cook down a lot. They'll also release some water. So, depending on what you want to use these for, you may want to use less sauce. Today, I'm going to use a jar of sauce because we're actually going to eat this on spaghetti squash that I'm going to um, do in the Instapot. Okay, so a little bit more seasoning, probably another teaspoon or so. And then remember, I'm just cycling through my pantry, so I have this great value tomato basil. I am just gonna pour it over the top. And the sausage and the peppers all, and the onions will all release water. So I'm not gonna add any more liquid. All right, so then I'm gonna put my crock pot lid on. There's two ways you can do this. You can do it um, high for four hours, which is what we're doing. So I'm just gonna set it there push it back that if you wanted to do it for dinner you could always do it on low for six to eight hours so there's the crock pot i'm going to get my stuff together and we'll jump over and do the freezer meal real quick all right okay guys so remember we just put that in the crock pot we're just going to assemble this freezer meal really quick and i did realize that there's actually enough left over for there to be three a piece so what i'm going to do is um i've already written on this bag i don't know if you can see it there but i'll show you a little bit closer but on there i'm going to put a plus leftovers because We'll do two each one day, and then we'll have one each for maybe like a sandwich or something for lunch or snack the next day. So, I'm going to put three each or nine in this freezer meal. So, remember, this is easy to adjust. You can adjust it for your family size. So, if you need nine on a regular basis, if you're feeding more people, then you can definitely do that. I'm trying to get my tongs. Now, these are completely cooled. You don't want to put hot... Um, sausages in your plastic bag or they will burn a hole in it and you need a sturdy freezer bag so all right this is gonna be super full all right so let me move that <clears throat> kind of these little um bag holders here are super nifty i can't remember who i saw using them maybe j morale or somebody that does freezer meals but they hold your bag open for you especially when you're filming with one hand they're awesome or if you you know got one hand you're trying to manage little ones or something like that it's a lifesaver but anyway i'm just now i'm just going to throw the onions and peppers in there the recipe and directions for this is going to be in the description i'm do a link to my blog post where where this is Okay, so there is that. Now, you could either leave your marinara sauce off on the shelf if you know you have it all the time in your pantry. You can leave this out, but I wanna make it as simple as possible, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour mine in. And remember, I'm doing a smaller jar at this point because I don't know how I'm gonna use these at a later point, so we may want them for sandwiches, so I don't want them really soupy, and they're all gonna have a little bit more water anyway since it's frozen, so keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna seal this up and i'll come back and show you what it looks like and how i write on it and that's it guys that i just laid it flat i kind of squeezed as much air as i can out and now it'll lay a little bit flat it's gonna get be kind of bulky you know because it's pretty full you can see how i labeled it sausage and peppers crock pot low for six to eight hours high for four hours i put the date october of 22 and i put plus leftovers if you can see that there we go on this one i can read my own writing <laughs> Anyway, um, so I'm going to lay this flat in my freezer and let it cool completely, uh, freeze, and then I'll put it in the deep freeze. And that is one way to prep a meal for today and one for your freezer. Easy way to get freezer meals in without having to spend all day um, doing it. All right, so we have our um, freezer meal all ready. I was going to show you guys what it looked like after it froze. You can see it doesn't take up too much space if you flatten it out and get all the air out, but this is completely froze solid so now this would be good in your freezer for several months probably up to six months you can see where i wrote on it be sure a couple of tips um remember i showed you those green bag holders i'll try and link below to amazon where they're where you can find those um let's see what else make sure you have a good sharpie on hand so you can write on your bags also write on your bags prior to filling them because once you fill them um, you guys probably already know this, but when, once you fill them, it's kind of hard to write on them. And, um, so it just does better to label your bags before you put them into the freezer. Now you can write on the bag, the cooking instructions, or you can keep like an index box with your index card, like sausage and pepper. 
um, crock pot meal and you can put the information on that and just keep them in your kitchen like in a recipe card box. But I just write on, for simple ones like this, I just write on the package. Let's see. Oh, let's talk about when you're ready to use this amazing freezer meal. All y'all need to do is pull it out and give it plenty of time to thaw. Once it's thawed, you can put it into your crock pot and again, cook at five, um, four hours on high or low six to eight hours and they will be perfect. If it's still frozen, you may have to go five hours on high and um, eight hours on low if it's still a little bit frozen. I've never tried it going completely frozen, so I wouldn't honestly try that. But yeah, a couple of twists you can do on this. If you don't like onions, you can leave them out. You could add more bell peppers, vice versa. If you don't like bell peppers, you could add more onions. You could throw in there, uh, replace them with mushrooms or any kind of vegetable that you like. You could probably even put uh, squash in there, but I don't like the way squash freezes. So I just stick to the onions and peppers and we've talked about it on the channel before. My husband and son are not wild about mushrooms, so I don't add those, although I think it would be delicious myself. So that's it. Even Lexi agrees with me, my puppy. She thinks they'd be good too, obviously. That's why you probably heard her in the background. Now let's talk about really quick, if you don't have a crock pot, you can totally freeze this sausage and pepper casserole in one of these tin pans. You can lay the sausage out, the peppers on top, then pour the marinara over, wrap it tightly with several layers, layers of foil right on the top of it what it is lay it set it flat in your freezer to freeze it and then stack them if you have room in your freezer same way thaw it put it into your oven and bake it now if it's completely thawed if you want to bake it in the oven you can do it for about 45 minutes you could even top it with cheese same as the crock pot if you want to top it with cheese and then you could eat it however you want over pasta on hoagie buns like we do over spaghetti squash which you'll see anything like that so lots of ways that you can do this freezer meal if you don't have a crock pot as well all right it has been four hours and you can see this yummy sausage and peppers these are all um cooked through i tested and they have the peppers and the spaghetti sauce or the marinara i roasted some um spaghetti squash in the oven i just did that at at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. That is just the same kind of Italian season I have in the sausage pepper. And I'm gonna shred that up and put it on our plate with this over the top. Then we're gonna take um, some Parmesan and some mozzarella and I'll show you what it looks like once we get it plated up. Oh, I was gonna tell you, you guys could always take these out and, and slice them up into coin sizes. You know, little slices if you'd like to, if it's easier. If you have little kids, that would be easier to eat instead of giving them each a whole sausage. But yeah, it smells so good and I cannot wait to eat lunch. I will show you a finished product plated at the All end right, of this video. Here is my plate. So I have the spaghetti squash on bottom, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, and then some of the sauce and the onions and peppers, and then a sausage that I've cut up and put on top, and then the shaky stuff on top, the Parmesan, grated Parmesan on top. So that's what most of that is. And there you go. This is amazing. I've already tried it. It's delicious. I hope you guys have liked this um, video of this way to make a meal and also put one up in your freezer. Thank you guys for stopping by today, and I will see you next week with another video.